All right, Triggles? What's happening? So today is game day. We are away. We are off to Carlisle. We're off to Brunton Park. Now, this is a long journey. As you can see that I've got a packed car because all my mates wanted to come with me. Look. May as well be in bloody well Scotland. Anyway, I made it here in one piece on my own. You know, Billy no mates, but never mind. Eh? Not far from Gretna Green. Might find myself a little treat and get married. Actually not, because then I wouldn't be allowed to go to football anymore. So we'll scrap that idea. Anyway, that's enough of chatting crap. Let's get straight into the football news. Now, Carlisle's last five games have been two draws, two losses, and one win. And the last five home games have been three losses, one draw, and one win. So they're there for the taking today. Now, Carlisle just recently sold one of their danger men in Charlie White. Now, he could have caused the problem but thankfully he's no longer here so we ain't got to worry about him but there's two possible other danger men that they could have if they are selected Jabu Ibia he's got 15 goals so far this season and Jason Kennedy now they could be dangerous if they are picked but Barnet have been splashing the cash lately people we've signed two new players so we welcome them in we welcome in a centre back Charlie Clough from Forest Green and a Spanish winger by the name of Ruben Bova from New York Cosmo from the National Premier Soccer League over in America so obviously we like to welcome the pair of them. Let's see if they're in the starting lineup. Now the starting lineup is not in yet, but when it is, I'll give you a little preview. This is the famous car park that Carlisle said we could park in. Just looks like a field to me. I think someone needs to call trading standards personally. There's one half there, look. Give us a wave. Uh. <laughs> Take a wild stab in the dark and guess that they train on that. That looks quite nice actually. Quite playing on that. So I've just got in the ground, as you can see there's many fans here. It's very cold, it's wet. Uh, looks like we're going with a 4-4-2, so Vickers is in goal. Now we're going with a back four of the new boy, Clough at right back. Nelson and Santos at centre half, and Johnson at left back. Midfield consists of another new boy, Colson on the right. Valetti centre mid with Tom Champion and Rice Campbell. Now let's see if he can actually put in a the shift. They're not blowing after 45 minutes. And up front is Akinola and John Akindi. 1 0 Carlisle. Free kick into the box. Cleared it. They've had a shot. Vickers has parried it out. Two players on the line pretty much. Just palmed it in. 1 0 Carlisle. Up to that. I thought we were playing well. Right, so it's half time. It's 1 0 Carlisle. Um, I thought we were a better team up until that goal. Like I said, a little bit of a channel. Someone was playing them on the side. A couple of chances um, for Barnett. Elliot had a shot and, uh, you know, just unfortunately saved. Akindi again going through. I just, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully, things can change in the second half. I've had a lot of possession. But unfortunately, we're not doing much with it. We need to turn that possession into some goals. We need to do something. Carlo had a couple of chances. Uh, Kennedy did the back post. Uh, blazed over the bar, though. And uh, Wake put them one up. So, going forward, Carlo look all right. But at the back, like I said, if we can take a chance, we might be all right. 45 minutes to try and sell the tank. Right, so it's still 1-0. Still very cold. And now we're down to 10 men. Akinola's just been sent off. Diving in. Just threw himself right into a player. No need to do that whatsoever. Just ball in a china shot. Just stupid. Absolutely stupid. So not only are we losing, we're now down to 10. Well done. Right, it's a penalty to Barnet. Hopefully we can get back into this game. John Kindley to take it. So, here we go. 
Come on, John. Come on, John. Here we go, come on, one one, back in this now, come on. Back. 15 or so minutes, come on, Barney. Now, I've never seen it before, but the lino is actually getting sucked. It looks like he's pulled his, uh, his, his calf or something, but wow. <laughs> Five minutes added on. Michael Nelson's off the pitch at the moment, injured. Bira might be coming on. But it looks like Nelson's going to be getting back on in a second now. Hopefully, he's all right. Five minutes to go. So I just got back into the car and it finished. Barnet won, Carlisle won. Both teams had a couple of chances. I think Barnet was the better team in the first half up until they Carlisle scored their goal. Possession-wise, Barnet had a lot more, but unfortunately couldn't end with anything on it. Carlisle scored and we kind of then dropped a tad. Second half was pretty much the same again. Josh Vickers putting off two fantastic saves. Uh, Elliot Johnson got brought down for a penalty. I think Tom Champion and Valletti played really well in that centre midfield. I would rather see Valletti on the wing and only because I know that he can run at people and he won't stop running and that is what I would have preferred but there was no Curtis Weston today. There was no uh, Ryan Watson. We're not sure what's happened to him and there was no Jack Taylor either so three main centre midfielders not there so obviously Valletti filled in and he done a really good job everyone put in a shift to be honest with you Akinola unfortunately got sent off he's young so hopefully he learns from this he came steaming in and it, it didn't need to be done from where we was it was quite reckless I'd have to watch it back on the TV to see what it was like from a Carlo point of view that Charlie White did look a little bit dangerous at times now I know I said they just sold him that's Sky Sports News for you according to them they'd sold him but he played today and he scored so blame Sky Sports News okay don't blame me. Um, yeah, he looked dangerous in parts. Uh, Kennedy came off injured. He looked dangerous in parts. Like I said, there was a part in the first half where he nearly got out to the back post. He blazed it over the bar. But other than that, Carlo really didn't have much, to be honest with you, pressing for him. Like I said, there was two really good shots that they'd done that Vickers pulled off really good saves for other than that and their goal and obviously the miss not a great deal from Carlisle overall like I said I'm happy with a point especially being down to 10 men it was a hard job being 1-0 down to try and get back into the game it was even harder when we went down to 10 men but going forward the next game is at home to Mansfield don't forget to like subscribe leave any comments below follow me on Twitter it's in the description I'm cold I'm wet I'm going to put the heater on there I'll see you later